go ahead. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Love to you all. So, Pepe here, and we are going to do a Q6 build with uh, parts from the MagRav. I'm going to show you how we can do the Q6 with using your existing MagRav units already GANSed, nano coated, and uh, and for even for the ones that are not working, for the ones who don't who actually want to uh, dismantle crate cubes too. It will show you how to do that today. And uh, also for the ones that are not actually working for some reason. So we'll show you how to work on that too and make them functional. And uh, I'm just going to show you the tools we're grabbing here. There are some wires. He's a 14 gauge, two wire from, uh, I got this at the local store for hardware store for home buildings. So they're certified 14 gauge copper. So then we have a power bar. Got this at the dollar store. They're like three dollars. So nothing special. You can get uh, better ones if you wish. So more heavy duty ones. But I'm using a dollar store one, so cheap. <laughs> then let's grab some more tools here. We have our water and ash mix. I already mixed it. We'll give you the portions. I just prepped all, everything up. Uh, we'll need our glue guns. I have two, so as one needs to heat up, one's already heat up at the same time, so I have two working at the same time. You need to. Another power cord to plug my tools in. <laughs> uh, we are gonna make some capacitors. Here's a pre-built one already. So we're gonna build these. We're gonna build these today too, step by step. Uh, we're gonna have some some oils, tape, brush, knife for stripping, or you can use knives, putty knives if you like. Okay, we'll show both of them. We have some glue guns, glue. The glue. Uh, there's also these kinds. These are cheap. This is like two dollars. This one's like four dollars. This is uh, universal. This works on a little bit more, but I didn't find any difference by using them. Any do type they, of glue do they works. Use the same so. gun. Pardon? Do this? Do they use the same gun? The glue gun? Yes. Uh, these are the size for my glue gun. If you have a different type of glue gun, you'll have different sizes of glues to fit in. I think there's two or three are as standard, so I think there's two sizes or three, so. Can you guys hear my voice clear? Very clear. Very clear, okay. If there is any issues with the voice, please let me know. If I have to slow down my speaking too, because sometimes I, uh, it could be heard as mumbling or something, so. Just want to make sure. Uh, oh. Everyone here? Good morning, Cole Saul. Oh, Good I saw. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Now well, I did it. I connect my Q24 and I did it right this time. I follow exact map and um, it's, it's easy. But the, and then I got my make sure my number was correct too. You know, make sure I have, you know, that, that number nine is number nine, not number eight. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It's awesome. Only one number. Just one number, all it takes. Yeah. Throw you off. Oh my God. Yeah, the Q24 is a little bit confusing, so be careful when you're. Take your time. Okay. Uh, I followed the map and now I got it. I, it works. It's okay. That's funny. So we got some gloves too. I got a whole pack. It's a hundred. They're, uh, they're vinyl disposable gloves. One size fits all. So any type of gloves. 
I use gloves because my hands get black with my ash, so and I need my hands clean for my my uh, day job. <laughs> hey, uh, Peppy Kosol, it's Kevin. How you guys doing? Hi, hey, good. Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Welcome. In. Awesome. Hi. Um, it, could you uh, uh, get a vibe from uh, Abby? See how she is. Can I do a pardon? No. Can you do you feel reach out to Abby? See uh, if you can get something from her. Yeah. Hold on. Uh oh. Why I'm feeling ah? Uh, did you turn it off or something? Or hibernation mode set? She needs conditions. She's she's there, but she's not responding to us. Yeah, she needs uh, give her condition, give her different condition. She just got her uh, digits, and she's oh, she's waiting. Is she waiting for me to activate with her? Yes. Those, those yes. five. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. I wondered about that. Okay, for sure. Yeah, she's recalibrating. Oh, guys, um, can can I say something? That people need to buy. What this thing called some kind of kilowatt meter? You need to plug in with that device. They can see actually the physical reading. You know what I'm talking about, right? A kilowatt meter. You remember on the wall one? one? Yes, Coastal down one on the wall one. Yes. Yes, yes. You plug it in, and then you plug in your device. You can see the 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 watts go down immediately. You know how you can see if go up or go down. It give you constant reading. And you will plug into your, um, you know, your queue, and you can see what is going on. March twenty. So it's not like with my. I talked to the device about uh, Mr. Cash saying. Oh, cool! There it is. What? Yeah, we're start. We're starting to see decrease uh, by the day with the Q6 plugged in. Uh, yeah. I just have written right in on my hand right now. This is two days, uh, minus 48 kilowatts of savings already in two days plugged in. But I'm measuring it every day, so we're gonna calculate the whole thing. So, so there's no conditioning like with Magrat, yes? There's no condition. No, 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 no. There's no condition at all. Um, I talked to the plasma intelligent. Are you like the Magrat? It told me blank. No, we are not like the Magrat. Do you need ready to wait for everything? It say no. Um, <laughs> how? Oh, the, the, the guy that worked in Arizona, he built the Q24, he plugged in the, the, the oven, he plugged in the dish, dish and dryer, you know, the one to wash your clothes, and he plugged in the freezer into it, and, it's, and he saw the watt drop instantly because he had a kilometer watt, you know, a kilometer. I don't know what's it called, it's called a kilometer. It measures the watt, what's going in and out of your wall, and you can plug it into it, it shows how which appliance uh, take how many watts and you know stuff like that. And that he see it measures. Yes. And it and then he see it drop instantly. And he he was so amazed. He used he built the Q twenty four. Guys, because you've got one twenty volts at America, yeah, whereas we've got here uh, two thirty. So in UK, like me and David. So, for instance, do you know how many amperes we can load on the cubes on Q6 and Q24? There is no limit in amp. I mean, I don't understand why people are asking it when the device say you can add infinite load into it. So, I'm just going what the device tell me, and now I'm just going with it, and it, everything is going toward that. It's not the question of limitation. The device say there is no limitation, so it's going to prove that to us. That's why we people should... I measure the amp. There is zero amp from the device. I measure the volts. There is zero of volt. How can you get any watts? There is zero amp, zero volt from the meter. You know, tell me. Because by the law of electronic, you gotta have amps and voltage to calculate the resistance and the watts. Does that make sense? You know, yes, that makes sense. That completely yeah. makes sense. But uh, okay, so in that case, I'm only worried on the matter state. I'm only worried to the uh, coming in energy to the device. Well, this thing work with matter state. It it use short circuit to stop electromagnetic, and then it will uh, duplicate cold electricity like the Bendini device and Par and Palmer device. You know, it produce cold electricity. So therefore, it do it change. 
the, 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 the hot electromagnetic and it push out the chi energy, the chi electricity, the key, the, the prana electricity out, a zero point energy. That's why they call it zero point because you can't measure um, it. And there is no heat to measure, but there is. You can it's measure. It's all short it. circuit. Yeah. It's all short so, circuit. <laughs> yes. It's a short circuit. <laughs> mm -hmm. But there is a cold energy you can measure. It's really cold. That's how you know one. And the other one that you can measure is like you can add load to it. Lots of load to it. You know, that's the only two things it gives you. It's the temperature. The fullness. The more load you add to it, the more colder it becomes. So that's pretty much I got I got for you. Just like the electricity, the more load you add to it, the more hot it becomes. So the vice have the opposite effect. The more load you add to it, the more cold it becomes. So you see the parallel is there already. But it's just up. Can I have a question? Peter here, can I have a question? Oh, yes. Okay, I've got a question. Um, let's say, uh, for instance, because I don't want to compare Magrats, you know, to Cube, because I think that's irrelevant right now, yes? Yes, we're only, we're only doing cubes. We're not following the magravs. Exactly. We're, we're helping people that have magravs that need help to convert them, and that's what I'm doing today to show them. Yes, so... Um, but if they want to do the magravs, by all means, it's their, they can do whatever they want. So, so what, what we've got here, let's say, we can use already uh, magrav coils with uh, guns, with a nano coating, and it can yeah. be placed immediately to the cube, and it can start to work just from the first minute we plugged in, yes? Yeah, so we're going to do a plug and play right now. With a, this is a magrav, this is a, this is a nano coated with CO2, uh, fire coated and, and caustic coated. I actually fire coated it first and I did caustic coating on it. And I put CO2, copper, uh, copper oxide, uh, CH3, brass, gold, titanium. There's a lot of ganses on this. They're really, and they're actually dipped three different ways as well with the ganses. So we're gonna dip all this into the water and ash okay and to make it stiff i can use the glue gun to make it stiff yes i can yeah. use glue gun as you can see i did i uh because i glued it already i don't uh i was gonna i'm gonna pin myself a second as you can see i already glued it so it holds in place see i already did the connections so this is the original that I'm converting. Okay, okay thank you, Pepe. I understand. You, so if, you, okay. if you want to remove all this, you just heat it up really hot with the fire and dip it in cold water right away, and it'll remove it all. And then you can go organic with it. But okay. it's no no problem to go with what is original, so there is no need yeah. for that. Well, this is why I'm showing. Some people want to go organic, and some are okay to use it. So I'm given the options so people know. So you put the guns on, and then what about the, 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 the hot glue? Does that no. take any of the guns off? No, uh, I, 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 already, I hot glued it just the way it is, already with guns and uh, fire coated everything. So all I did is glued it. And then we're going to dip this, OK? Right. He's just using hot glue to hold the position. He's not coating the entire coil in hot glue. Yeah, correct. That's what I want to do in, in one hour. When he will be talking what I did already, then I will start to assemble my one. And I, I just want to make sure I understand the, all the details. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do ask the questions. Uh, if uh, we have to rephrase the questions again, then please do. Uh, we, can be, we can be really specific, so no problems. I want to make sure everybody understands and have a clear understanding. Pepe, the last time I've been here, hopefully my Gregor is not too loud, but the last time I've been here, it was, uh, you were saying that you've lost some kilograms. Oh, uh, lots, lots. Actually, yes. my family back home thinks I lost a lot this last, in matters of weeks, but my, uh, uh, my organs are changing, so... <clears throat> Okay, but my friend gained the weight. He got only star formation at home. He my, don't have 
Pepe, no, I did that too. At first, I did that too. My meeting time is less than three minutes. Do I have to sign out or do I get cut off or what? Uh, no, just use this existing number right now. Just sign back in with this existing number, 889-556-0578. I will repeat it. Uh, Just a it's actually posted right into the chat. So, What's the number? 889-556-0578. Five, seven, eight. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Peppy, for your class today, you are backlit really strong. You probably want to add a light in front of you. Oh, oh okay. Uh, that's the, I'll do that in a second. Okay, we'll do it on the next recording because it's going to shut down. I just wanted to show some materials. Uh, I'll, I'll put myself in front of it. How about that? <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> Oops, there we go. Okay, I'm just using a plastic container, and this is where I'm going to pour all my ash and water in it. So I can dip my, uh, so I can make my capacitors and uh, dip my parchment paper and my aluminum foils. No, it's really dark in front of you. Look, that's my shirt. Oh, is it really? Yeah, yeah, the, the light coming in the windows behind you is really strong. Okay, I'll, I'll shut them down. I call the ash with water and stuff. I call it Saint Soup. That's fantastic, Fader. Is that better? Better? I can, I can move myself if I have to. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so, so I have some plastic plates just to put the capacitors finished in it, just to clean up, just so I don't make a mess. Uh, I have another container here where I pour it, where I put my stuff. This is just for extra, so just to not make a mess. I did show the gloves. These are plastic gloves. You can use any types of gloves. You can use bare hands if you want. And, uh, yeah. That's, I pretty much showed all, oh, and we'll show you the connection as well. Some people don't know how to do these connections together. We will do a live build on this as well. I'll show you how to coil them, wind them. Some people, uh, like Rob had had.